Today we will talk on the topic electronic spectra of trans and metal compounds. Before we go into this topic, first of all we will try to see the general idea of what this electronic spectra is all about. When a molecule is irradiated with electromagnetic radiations, especially in the region of visible or UV, we see that molecule absorbs the electromagnetic radiation and results in the transition of electron from ground state to excited state and this transition occurs only and only if the radiation of electromagnetic energy of the electromagnetic radiation is exactly matching with the ground state and excited state of that molecule so if the man energy of electromagnetic radiation is exactly equal to the ground the energy difference between the ground state and the excited state of a molecule then and then only this energy will be absorbed by the electron and electron will result in transition from ground state to excited state like this and this type of transition is called as electronic transition and when this is recorded by a spectrophotometer we get a graph we call it as absorption spectra more correctly electronic absorption spectra because this absorption is because of the transition of electron from ground state to excited state so the most important condition for this electronic transition to occur is the energy gap must be matching with the energy of the photon that is incident upon the molecule if this is not the condition that is fulfilled then we won't get any absorption spectra so please keep it in mind that energy gap between ground state and excited state must match for absorption to occur but this is not the only condition that needs to be fulfilled for a transition to occur we'll see later what those conditions are which will make the transitions possible okay. so this is only a general idea about what is electronic transition now we'll turn to electronic spectra of transition metal compounds basically there are three different types of electronic transitions in transient metal compounds that may be seen the very first type is a well-known we call it as dd transitions dd transitions in a modern terminology we call these transitions as intraligand transitions inter sorry ligand field transitions ligand field transitions dd transitions are the transitions in which the ground state and excited state both have the orbitals that of d origin so ground state is a d orbital excited state is also a d orbital so whenever any photon of matching energy incident upon it electron absorbs the energy gets excited from d orbital to another excited d orbital and this type of transition we'll call as dd transition for a simple reason because ground state is also a d orbital and excited state is also a d orbital so it is dd transition these transitions are mainly responsible for the spectral properties of the transient metal compounds that is these transitions usually guides the color of the compound or decides the color of the compound another type of transition that we see is charge transfer transition charge transfer transition abbreviated as ct transitions in charge transfer transition <coughs> we'll try to understand this transition by taking an example we'll talk about we are familiar with this molecule KMnO4 when dissolved in water it dissociates into K plus and MnO4 minus this is per manganate ion per manganate ion what we are interested in because this is only the complex species this is a simple ion and we are interested in 
complexes so in permanganate ion the oxidation state of manganese is plus 7 if we'll try to see what is the atomic number of manganese it is 25 so its electronic configuration becomes argon 3d5 4s2 and in plus 7 oxidation state of manganese its electronic configuration would be argon 3d0 4s0 so in permanganate 3d orbital don't have any electron so if there are no electron in d orbital so dd transition is something that is not possible but we know that this compound is also intensely colored this ion is intense purple in color intense purple in color and obviously this purple color cannot be attributed to the dd transition because there is no electron in the orbital so there has to be some another reason for this compound to be colored that to so much intensely colored so it is necessary to understand what that transition is which is responsible to impart the color to this ion complex ion <laughs> this transition is because manganese is with plus 7 oxidation state and have all its valence orbitals empty with a 7 plus charge with such a high strong with such a high positive charge it gets strong attraction for an electron so when per magnet ion surrounded by four oxygens four oxygens which also have lone pairs which also have lone pairs and there is seven plus charge on manganese such a strong attraction such a strong positive charge on manganese pulls these electrons of oxygen very much close to itself very much close to itself and there is possible that at least for some time being this electron gets transferred from oxygen that is ligand to metal ligand to metal when this transition will occur for fraction of time 